Okay, uh, today we're going to discuss a very interesting topic which is about how to publish your article with ISI and also Scopus Index Journals. So I think this is the most important thing for all academicians to publish your work with this journal. Uh, stay tuned uh, to listen to this video. There are 10 tips how to publish in these ISI and Scopus Index Journal articles. Let's watch it. Why do you want to publish your article with this index journal? You know? So I think the best reason is uh, you want to share your knowledge. Yeah? You want to share your findings in your research. So how the best way to share your knowledge and also your findings in your research? I think the best way is to publish with uh, ISI and also Scopus index journals. Yeah? The other point probably we got to publish because uh, many universities now uh, around the world put a criteria to publish uh, your uh, journal's articles uh, with these index journals, you know. So this has become a requirement everywhere around the world. Yeah? Even though not all countries apply the same way, particularly for example like in, in Singapore, they, uh, they never impose any publication must be coming from these two index journals, you know. But, uh, but uh, more and more you can see that from everywhere around the world Thailand, Malaysia, Indonesia and also everywhere uh, because we are looking that you know this index journal is the most uh, most uh, you know the most important and also the most cited you know, the most indexed as well so that's why we go with this uh, two index journals you know? so I think it's normal eh, for any university now we put a requirement for promotion for example uh, by requesting eh, uh, and also become compulsory for any uh, academics eh, to publish in these two index journals in order for them to get promoted. Eh. So that is probably re good reason why many of us now go to publish with these two index journals. There's the issue of ethics eh, uh, because there's become debate uh, around the world right now eh, when it comes to the issue of predatory uh, journals, you know, when uh, some of the journals are also indexed by this uh, index journal, eh, particularly Scopus. Eh? So I think recently there is issue criticism eh, against Scopus, eh, why they allow uh, predatory journals become uh, indexed by them. You know, make sure that you publish your article in the correct journal indexed by these two uh, uh, index journals, eh, Scopus and SI, and uh, and the quality of our article actually really well uh, assessed eh, this to, uh, by this uh, journal that we're going to publish. Eh. And so there are other issues of ethics as well, plagiarism for example, uh, become passenger for others to, to, to publish and also and uh, enter into like scheme or syndicates eh, to, to cite uh, other people's work within, even though they're not really citing the, uh, in, the, in the articles. You know. So there are many issues we need to uh, tackle with and I think ethics become the most important thing which I think will guide us to publish and also to produce a very good article for uh, these two index journals. Actually two types of um, articles, one can be considered as a concept article, the other one is research articles. So normally journals uh, published by this uh, index journal, ISI or Scopus, they, they will look in details of this kind of article. Some will accept concept paper. Some will accept both concept paper and also research paper. Eh? Some actually accept only research paper. Eh? So in order for us, when we prepare our article, we need to make sure that our article is either concept and also research uh, types of articles. Then when we submit to this journal, we also make sure that this journal only accept our kind of paper you know? uh, because I can see many of uh, uh, probably uh, particularly the novice you know? uh, writers you know? they send to certain uh, journal which suddenly being, uh, get rejected you know? because they send to the more research based uh, you know uh, journals but 
actually their paper is more conceptual paper. So I think these uh, things uh, while you are observing and studying about journals, you can identify the differences required by these journals. So I think this is a very important thing. Make sure that your articles will suit journal that you're going to publish. Yeah? Most of the journal that I observe and also when I prepare my set up, prepare my articles, they always require me to write very thorough and in-depth theoretical framework. Eh? Uh, that I think is very important. I think this is probably suitable for the social science type of uh, articles. Eh? So for more uh, hard science or science and technology, probably they require different things. Eh? Probably also they require more theoretical aspect. Eh? But most of the journals that uh, I wrote, eh, my article, require me to put some effort eh, uh, to write a very good theoretical framework. Eh. So uh, almost all of the articles that I publish, I think, very strong in theoretical framework. Eh. So that's why I think many of, particularly, uh, article uh, wrote by scholars in Malaysia and everywhere around the world, when they are theoreticals very weak, difficult for the article to get published, eh, unless you produce a very strong theoretical. Uh, aspect eh, in the article then can get uh, accepted eh. and that's also rely on the journal itself eh. if the journal can accept the theoretical aspect that we produce and also we, sh uh, we show to them you know uh, to argue on the issue that we cover eh. so uh, that's one thing very important eh. so theoretical always I even encourage uh, many uh, when you prepare your article make sure that your theoretical framework is very solid very strong and can explain the phenomena that we cover in your, uh, in our, eh, uh, our articles. Eh. Always important, similar like if you produce a thesis, even you produce a books, for article journals required by ISIN and Scopus Index journals, all the article under their, their database and then their, their, their uh, index. Eh actually require you to produce a new discovery. This is the originality of the journals, you know, articles that you produce. Uh, without the, this originality, if you're repeating other people's work, I think definitely almost all of the journal will reject your uh, articles. You know? So make sure that your article actually produces something new. Either you produce a concept paper, but concept paper that cover and so discuss a new things. You know? And there's a new discovery, a new thinking, a new theory or new approach, new dimension to the theory, whatever. That must be something new which I think become valuable eh, for this journal to, to publish. Eh. So that's why I think it's very important to make sure that uh, there's a new element in your uh, articles. Eh. So whilst, uh, if you have this element, I think easily most of the journal, I say in Scopus Journal, they will accept and they will publish your name. Because uh, that's the most important thing eh? uh, to share with other and other scholars will look on your the, your discovery your originality then they can appreciate and so later on you know uh, they can invite you for seminar conference or to dis discuss about your discovery that's always uh, happen all the time to me when i discover from my research and also i put in, in the articles then those who appreciate what i'm discussed then i think they will invite me for talk and so on. So I think this is a very important thing. New discovery, that's the originality of your finding and your research where you put inside of your uh, articles to be shared to others. Eh? Okay, number nine. There are two types also of uh, journals. Eh? It can be paid journal or unpaid journal. Eh? Okay, this create, create a debate. Eh? Because normally, uh, paid journals uh, allow for open access, meaning that everybody can access your articles uh, without any uh, charges. Yeah? So it's, it's open for everybody, but the charge actually imposed to the writers. Yeah? Uh, so so we have to pay yeah, to this journal. Sometimes the, the payment is very very high. Yeah? So uh, but once published, I think uh, everybody can access. Yeah? The most important thing, actually, everybody can access your work. You know? But that also, there's a, a tendency towards uh, people who abuse this. Eh? Charge to uh, to the writers, and when the writer pay, they publish, and suddenly their journals become 
uh, predatory. Eh? So that's a problem eh? uh, that faced by many writers and academicians around the world. Eh? So, but in other matters, eh? uh, uh, unpaid, you know, which I prefer actually. Eh? Most of the top journal that I know normally unpaid, eh? uh, meaning that we don't have to pay to that journal. Eh? Uh, we doing all the process, uh, then we publish uh, with them. They will charge to the library, to the other people, to the other readers eh, to buy. Eh? So that according to them, eh? sometimes they pay the whole uh, uh, journals itself, you know, or sometimes just volume. Even sometimes they charge based on articles in that volume. Yeah? So it's up to, to them to decide. Eh? So which one is I prefer? Normally I prefer the unpaid one. But I know sometimes it's a constraint for the readers and the writers, you know, uh, to get access to our article because when once uh, we put subscription on our articles and difficult for other people to access, so that's why people prefer uh, open access kind of journals where the 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 payment uh, uh, was imposed uh, was imposed eh, to uh, the, to the writers. Eh? Uh, it's up to you actually to decide which one is better. But for me personally, I prefer the unpaid one because the quality is there and you produce without a constraint or without uh, any financial constraint. Uh, it's uh, you let you know at least you already perform your duty as a writer. Uh, you let the journal to decide where to publish, uh, you know, meaning where to sell and so how much they charge uh, for the article. And so it's up to them to decide. There are technique yeah, uh, to write articles, uh, journal articles, uh, because uh, we need to differentiate between the technique to write an article for journals co uh, compared to the other kind of uh, artic uh, articles, uh, for example, newspaper articles, you know, or even books, uh, because the the technique is different. Uh, because you have to compare all of your, for example, writing, yeah, your your ideas into one uh, particular uh, articles, uh, which I think require. Uh, in terms of uh, wording, eh, around probably six to eight thousand words, you know, can be more. Some uh, you know require more eh, to ten thousand words or even twelve thousand words. Eh. But most of the journal, I think, is very. They want an uh, article which is very comprehensive, uh, with a certain structure that they want, and uh, they want to see the arguments, eh, the base. Uh, so meaning that, uh, like I used to mention about Hegelian uh, dialectics, eh, need to be inside the. Eh, the, the articles, eh? so meaning that there's a discourse, eh? and also uh, and also there's an issue being discussed in there, and uh, so it uh, depends. Eh? If uh, the article is a research article, probably you need to also to argue in terms of methodology uh, of the research that you 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 done, you know, so and explain in, into the the, the articles. Eh? So actually, uh, each sometimes you, know, you also need to observe. Eh? Sometimes uh, each. Uh, Journals requires different kind of technique, you know. Particularly when come to, for example, like uh, writing style and also the uh, referring systems. Yeah? Uh, referring system also depends. Yeah? Uh, so some journal will uh, will use Harvard, for example, system. Some will use uh, Chicago, you know, and so APA system. So you need to follow, uh, you know, their guide. Yeah? If you don't follow, is normally is the way of them to reject your paper because you didn't follow the paper from the beginning yeah? uh, so they want everybody you know when they you write you already follow the structure and the requirement for the the paper then i think from there i think they easily can accept and so to access also your article so make sure that if you decide if you have articles that you want to publish so you check uh, the details in terms of writing is into a, into a reference reference system in that uh, journal then prepare the article according to that requirement by the journal so that's why techniques of writing is very important please identify the the correct journal eh? because each journal is different eh? sometimes journals uh, wants certain things eh? for example like i mentioned earlier eh? and uh, they want a more uh, theoretical based article or conceptual uh, uh, articles some more research type of article but also at the same time so uh, they also impose certain element and certain ideology for example eh? uh, for example some uh, articles or even some journals you know require articles to write 
something according to certain philosophy or ideology for example like liberalism uh, histor historical scientific uh, and also you know meaning that uh, in each of the journals sometimes they impose certain kinds of value and perspective uh, this i think sometimes is very difficult for uh, novice uh, writers to identify eh? unless you, you read the article that already published in that journal uh, then you can understand okay what kind of approach that journal require and wants you know so because for example like me i used to also send my article to certain journal but suddenly the, that journal want me to they even contacted me say ask me me to to revise you know, my discussion according to certain uh, perspective certain theory and even certain philosophy yeah, which makes sometimes my articles a bit, a bit difficult yeah, to, to transform totally according to what uh, they suggested yeah. so that's why uh, if you refuse then we, our article will get rejected yeah. so that's why I think very important to really understand the journal yeah. uh, even though we uh, for us normally uh, we think a lot about our articles but thinking about journal also very important before you submit your article eh? so make sure that you submit your article to a suitable journal that can accept your article uh, failure uh, is normal I think uh, for me uh, almost all the time I got rejected eh? uh, from uh, from journals, you know, particularly the ice and scopus in that journal, eh? because uh, they put certain standards very high. They want certain things, and probably our article not deliver the things that they want. Yeah? So that's why I think it's very important that uh, for us not feel disappointed, eh? and suddenly we give up eh? uh, to 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 write an article or to send our article to index, uh, particularly ISI and also, also as copies in that journal. Eh? Uh, for, for us, I think it's norm, uh, for me, uh, it's normal to get rejected but normally that journal will explain to you eh, why they reject our paper. Eh. So from there, I think, from their comment, I think you can improve your, your paper and from there you can submit to other journals. Eh. Uh, sometimes uh, the other journal will can accept eh, uh, our journals easily because our uh, journal uh, or our article actually already improved based on the comment we, we got from the earlier journal that rejected eh, our article eh. so that's why i think don't be disappointed make sure that you keep improving your article all the time and if we fail to submit to one particular journal we can submit to many other journals as well there are i think thousands of journals eh. so make sure that the journal uh, wants articles that we yeah, produce you know or what uh, our kind of articles so then i think we submit to that journals you know? so but make sure that we submit to journals that according to ice and also compass in that journal you know? because the standard is there uh, the requirement is very high so i think it's normal this this is the life of uh, SN commissions commissions and uh, then i think uh, we can get improved and so make sure that we publish our journal articles You know, many of the low quality of journal normally won't get into this index journals, you know, particularly ISN and Scopus. You know? Even though there are cases that certain art, uh, articles, uh, sorry, certain journals, you know, which is uh, not good but indexed by, uh, you know, uh, Scopus journal, for example. Actually, in the beginning, this journal I think very good, yeah? but because of the thinking about uh, financial or profit from publishing the article so that's why they become greedy and so on and then the standards become lower and lower eh? because they they want to publish a lot of articles which is not good and sometimes it's also not qualified to be published but the tendency of that actually to get as many money as they can get from the writers eh? so that's why they impose certain payment to, 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 uh, to the writers you know so of course they get benefit eh? but they also sacrifice the standard and the quality of uh, assessing the articles eh? so make sure that we when we send uh, our article to the journal that the journal actually impose certain uh, you know thorough eh? uh, assessment to our article eh? they have uh, they have they will send for example to a reviewer reviewer will check the article they give comment and the comment is very thorough and we also can improve 
uh, our articles and and uh, then we can publish. Yeah? At least they impose certain uh, you know strategy and so technique uh, to ensure that what article that they get also the the article uh, according to the standard that they impose. Yeah? So as long as they put certain process which is very thorough, uh, very systematic, yeah? I think that's the journal that I think we need to. Uh, publish our work with that journal. You know? So uh, this, I think, uh, rely on us actually yeah? as a commission, yeah? where journal that we want to publish. Yeah? But go to this kind of so good standard journals, which you know highly appreciate uh, certain process, which is very thorough and to access our article. Yeah? So when our article get published, actually our article become uh, good articles. You know? So for me, I think as a commission, I rarely send my articles, which is uh, you know, which is I got minor correction. Eh? So major correction is normal for me. Eh? So from minor, uh, for major correction, I think I get improve our article, then then my article get get published. Eh? So that's I think uh, very important. So we have to ensure that the standard is there, then we also certify that we really qualify to produce a very good article according to the standard imposed by this journal. Okay, thank you very much. Just a very short uh, you know, discussion uh, coming from me to explain 10 tips how to publish in this uh, ice and also scopus in that journal. Yeah? You know, sometimes it's very difficult for us to pub to publish, you know, but keep trying, keep improving, and sooner or later, I think we're going to uh, come to the higher standard and so required by this uh, index journal. And uh, the most important thing is to share our knowledge with others, uh, you know, our peers, yeah? our academic peers around the world. Yeah? So from there, I think we can appreciate knowledge, appreciate. Uh, you know, uh, the quality of article journals published uh, published through this index journal. So thank you very much for listening to uh, my explanation about this journal. Then uh, keep watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, to like, and also and continue to to watch my video. Uh, thank you.